watch yourselves that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. Now, some people, when they read that, have thought that this is referring to salvation and that John is essentially saying that it is possible for someone to lose their salvation, right? It says right here, beware, watch yourselves, examine yourselves so that you don't lose what we have accomplished, that you, do, that you receive the full reward. And so some people have said that based off of this verse and other verses that uh, could indicate a Christian can lose their salvation. And they say this in, in large part of verse 9, the following verse. Anyone who goes too far and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. And so, man, if you get mixed up uh, in these alternate teachings about Jesus and you follow them and you say, yeah, though there's, well, John says you don't have God. So you have lost your salvation. That's what they would say. Uh, commentators and, and theologians have addressed this differently um, talked about different things. Um, some people have said in contrast to that, that really it's not that you're losing salvation, it's that you're losing rewards. Uh, and they base this on verses 10 and 11 that talk about those things. Uh, they say, well, you know, it's not that a Christian loses their salvation because we have other scripture that talks about the, the perseverance of a believer. And so it's really focusing on the reward. That's what they lose. I think there's a, actually a simpler way of looking at this. Watch yourselves that you do not lose what we have accomplished. So as far as the New Testament is concerned, we do not accomplish our own salvation ever, <laughs> right? God accomplishes salvation for us through Christ. And so Christ has accomplished the work of salvation. Yet John is saying that we are might, we're in danger of losing what we have accomplished. Well, if we can't accomplish salvation, then there's no way that this could be talking about salvation. This is not talking about salvation, undoubtedly because of the we. If John had said, watch yourselves that you do not lose what Christ has accomplished, then we might be able to say, well, maybe salvation is, is an issue here. But it doesn't say that. John is talking about we. So who is the we that he is referring to? Well, you only have really a couple options. You have uh, the uh, apostles, right? Uh, the we, right? What we as the apostles, the, the, the start of the church. You may uh, endanger what we as the apostles have Began. He could be talking about uh, the church or Christians as a whole. Christianity, what, what we as Christians have done. And there is a third possibility that it could be the local church that he's writing to. He's writing to this chosen lady uh, from another location. And so he could be talking about this specific local church in mind. Uh, any of those options uh, are possible. However, I think because he has addressed this letter to the Christians in this local church, and more than likely he is referring specifically to the local church in this instance. However, we can take application from it for the universal church, right? For all of us, even throughout history, we can take application from this because it's the same process. We need to examine ourselves and beware that if we are deceived, if we go down a certain path, there is the potential that we will lose the full reward. We will endanger what we have accomplished thus far. And so John says, watch yourselves that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. Now, the idea of reward for Christians who serve faithfully is not very common in John's writings. John doesn't talk about uh, personal Christian rewards very often. Paul does. Paul talks about rewards for effort and rewards for Christians and what they do. Uh, but uh, John does reference it in Revelation uh, chapter 11, verse 18. The nations were enraged, your wrath came, and the time came for the dead to be judged, and the time to reward your bondservants and prophets and the saints and those who fear your name, great and small, uh, and to destroy those who destroy the earth, right? So there is a reference that John makes in Revelation, uh, and there is also another uh, reference later on in Revelation that talk about Christians receiving reward. So uh, it's, it's not that Christians, you know, don't receive rewards, but 
is that the reward that John has in mind here? You know, the full reward could be the impact on the community or the influence that the church has in the community, which would make sense uh, that endorsing deception, false teachers would compromise that reward or that the reward is actually referring to an individual's uh, reward and heavenly crown. Either way, there, there's a danger, whether it's the reputation of the church to the community or it's a reputation as you as an individual Christian uh, and the impact that you have in others' lives, there is risk if you follow false teaching, if you follow deception, if you follow those who are anti-Christ. That's what John is saying here. Watch yourselves that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. 